Coco and Clary is one of my favorite gel polish brands that I've Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have for you guys a highly requested video and one that I was really looking forward to filming. And that is my top 10 Coco and Claire gel polish recommendations video. They have a ton of different colors. I think they have like 300 now. Um, they are discontinuing some of them. So if there are some in this video that you're kind of wanting to pick up and if they are discontinued, I can let you guys know just in case you want to snag them. But Coco and Claire is one of my favorite gel polish brands that I've been using for two years now, just about two years, I believe. Um, I really like the application of them. I like the pigmentation of them. I like the glitter gel polishes. They apply really, really nicely. And I wanted to share with you guys what my picks would be. Some of these are going to be like my personal favorite type of shades. Some of them are going to be ones that I would use a lot for nail art. And some of them are just gonna be some really nice colors. Um, it's all over across the board. It's not seasonal based. But if you guys do want to see seasonal recommendations, I can start trying to incorporate that into my video lineup. The first color I wanted to share with you is called Smoky Rose, and this is my hands down favorite color from Coco and Claire. I just think it is such a beautiful pink. It's not too bright. It's not a baby pink. It's a rosy pink. It applies beautiful in two thin coats, a nice creamy finish, no pearl, no shimmer. It is just such a stunning color. So the rest of the colors are going to be in numerical order, but I wanted to show this one first because it is my favorite. Number 33 is Champagne Kisses, and this is a light gold fine glitter. And this one, when you apply it, it definitely goes on more sheer, but I like that because I think you could layer it over other colors and it would just give it a really nice fine sparkle, or you can build it up so that it's a glitter accent type of nail or glitter nail. I really like this. I like that the gold is not yellow. It's not super bronzy. It's a really nice in between and a great color to use if you just want a little bit of sparkle. Next color up, number 41, is called Passionate Peaches. And I like this one because it is also a rosy tone, but it has a little bit of that peach tone to it too. And it's almost like an off neutral type of color. Now this one, the first coat goes on fairly sheer, so you definitely need to apply a second coat with it. But I think this is a really good option for people that maybe want a neutral color but don't like wearing nude nails, so they want something with a little bit of a tinge to it, and that's what this one has. I think this one is so pretty. It's beautiful for springtime. Number 57, Vintage Linen, is one of my favorite colors because I like to use it as the background for nail art. Generally, I prefer to use like a creamy, light type of off-white color versus a bright white for the background of nail art, and this one works so well for it. I like that it's not super brown toned, it's not super bright, it's just a really nice in-between, and if I'm ever doing a background where I want this type of creamy shade, this is likely the one that I am using if I'm using any of the Coco and Claire colors. 124 is called Anna, and this is a really nice medium to dark blue shade and I like that it has super super fine flecks of glitter in it. Whenever I want a blue for any nail art that I'm doing, I always grab this one. It's so funny because I will look at the variety that I have from Coco and Claire and this is the one I tend to go to. So I definitely get more use out of this one in the winter time I'm finding, but it's been a go-to of mine and I could not make a favorites video without including this one. Number 127 is called Times Square, and this is one of those see-through glitters with like iridescent flakes and glitters to it as well. I love this one for art. If you guys have kept up with my videos for a while, you know I love these kind of see-through glitters, and I like using them as a background and doing some nail art on top of them. I like using them as a glitter fade. I like layering them on top of different colors. These are just so versatile, and this one from uh, Coco and Claire specifically, I love this one matte, so I am going in with a matte top coat here so you guys can kind of see what it would look like shiny and then the actual one at the end that I'm showing is the matte version and it just makes such a great background to do nail art on top of when it's matte like this. 148 pour me a pint is being discontinued and it like breaks my heart because it is such a nice creamy pearl neutral sparkle type of shade it is kind of sheer so if you go in with two coats it um, still has a little bit of see-throughness to it but i just love the tone of this typically we see these type of 
fine sparkle glitters as like a white but not usually as a cream and I love that about this one because you can pair it with so many different colors with it being a cream sparkle like this especially if they're more warmer tones it seriously breaks my heart that this one's being discontinued because I love it so much 216 grace is a baby pink pearl color when I first opened this I immediately thought that it was like a princess pink it's got a really nice light pink base to it and then the sparkles in it are like an iridescent gold but there's also flecks of silver now when you're applying this one it does apply kind of gritty I find so it's not super smooth of an application but I do find after two thin coats this is fairly opaque and I really like that about this I just see so much versatility with it with it the shade of pink and as well as the iridescent sparkles you can pair it with so many different colors and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Next color number 277 is the Psychology of Rose and this is a rosy pink shade. As soon as I thought, saw this color I knew I was going to love it. It reminds me a lot of Rosy Posy from Light Elegance but it is a little bit more on the pink side and I like that about it. It is such a beautiful color and it applies so nice too. This was just one coat. Number 281 is called Hot 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 and it is a super bright Barbie pink color. I wouldn't call it a neon but it is a nice in between of like a medium and a dark pink and this one applies so nicely. I do end up doing it in two thin coats because it's so pigmented. I think if you tried to do it in one coat and you had it just a little bit too thick you might have some rippling. So I would recommend doing this one in uh, two thin coats, but it is just such a stunning pink, perfect for summer nails. I decided to throw in a bonus one. So this is number 283, it is called Grape Idea. And I feel like this is one of the best purples that they offer. Now Coco and Claire has a ton of really nice purples, but I really like this one because it's not too bright, it's not too dark, it's a really good in-between and it would be great for all year round. And this one applies so nice. So again, two thin coats. The first one is a little bit sheer, but once you get the second one on, it just has so much pigment to it. And I really like this particular shade. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please comment below and let me know what your favorite gel polish colors are from Coco and Claire. I'd be super curious to hear. And make sure you're following me on all my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!